lawmakers in Arizona and solar advocates are calling on the U.S. Senate to pass investments to support solar energy growth in the U.S. and here in Arizona. Cronkite News reporter Atria Maneshni explains how these billions of dollars could make renewable energy more accessible in Arizona. Tamara Muir and her husband have lived in Tucson for more than 14 years, and this year they decided to invest in rooftop solar. Our decision to install solar was based on, on two things. First, of course, was a desire to do our part to slow climate change. Um, we all know, as has been mentioned, living in the desert, about the heat and the lack of water. It's costly to install solar. Mir says the federal and state tax credits influenced her decision to go solar. We'll be able to break even on the cost of our solar in less than 10 years. Some state lawmakers and solar advocates hope more people will follow in Mir's footsteps. That's why they gathered in Senator Mark Kelly's hometown of Tucson last week to urge him and Senator Kirsten Sinema to support climate investments that were part of President Joe Biden's Build Back Better Act. The act passed the House but has stalled. These investments would be about $550 billion and would grow Arizona's renewable energy sector. For State Representative Daniel Hernandez, he sees that money helping low-income families get access to green energy. In a state that has more sunshine than almost any other state in the country and almost any other place in the world, it is unconscionable that we are not doing more to invest in ensuring that there is rooftop solar for as many Arizonans as possible. Investing in solar is also one solution that the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change recommends in their recent report. Water. This is so important for Arizona to fight climate change. It literally means whether we get to stay here. In Tucson, for example, the days above 105 degrees are increasing. Tamara Mir gets this. She says for her, solar will help cut her electricity costs while she does her part to help slow climate change. We've already waited too long. And every year, the extreme heat and weather cost us even more. Mir says the federal tax credit to get solar is a good incentive. And if Congress can get behind climate investments, that could reduce the cost of installing rooftop solar. That's according to the White House. John Mittman with Arizona Solar Energy Industries Association says incentives are only part of the solution. He says what really needs to happen is workforce training to meet the growing demand for clean energy jobs that these investments would bring. And workforce training takes a long time and a lot of investment. In the absence of the legislation, you know, it's, it's just going to uh, really continue to hamstring us in the future. For now, Mir is excited about what rooftop solar will mean. Tucson Electric Power will pay for any excess energy. And when the panels are paid off, she won't have an electric bill. That's money, Mir says, she plans to use to buy an electric vehicle. In Tucson, Atria Maneshni, Cronkite News.